Hi everyone, I'm Steven and today I'm making Ang's Bison Whistle out of cardboard. If you're curious, keep watching, subscribe, like the video, and let's get to it! This video is going to be in two parts, starting with the whistle portion. If you plan to use a plastic or metal whistle, feel free to skip ahead. I'll link the timestamp below. But for me, I'm going to make the whistle out of cardboard. I made a simple template, printed and cut it out, and then used masking tape to tape the template directly onto a sheet of cereal box cardboard. And this tape just helps it from slipping around since it is kind of tiny. I then cut the template out with a utility knife. For all of the inside lines, I just lightly scored them with the knife. This means I did not cut all the way through the cardboard when slicing them, and the scored lines will allow the whistle to fold together. Once all those cuts were made, I glued down the long piece at the end, and when that glue dried, I used masking tape to fold up the sides and seal the rest of it closed. I also made sure that there was still a tiny little gap for air to flow through in the front part. Um, I hope that makes sense. I know it's a little bit difficult to explain, but this is what it looks like. See? There's a tiny little gap um, for air to go through, and that's where the whistle noise comes from. And speaking of the noise, Right? It's nice and loud. Sounds exactly like a whistle. Okay, we put that off to the side and on to step two, making the bison. I literally just sketched the shape out onto some paper, cut that out, and then used that cutout to trace onto another sheet of cereal box cardboard. That got cut out, and I made a second copy so I'd have two of them. So that's two bison pieces. And these two pieces will sandwich the whistle, and the whistle will kind of get glued in this area on a slant. But if I did that right now as is, it would be too thin. So to bulk it up, I added two thin corrugated cardboard strips to each side of the whistle, and that just bulks it out so it's a little bit heftier and more proportional. And this is how thick the whistle is going to be. For me, it was roughly one inch thick. And once I knew how thick it was going to be, I cut out a lot of pieces of corrugated cardboard that had that one inch measurement and glued them all around the perimeter of the bison shape. Some of them I cut down and made small, other ones I kept big, but I just hot glued them right onto the edge. And it takes a while, but it's easy to do if you take your time. When the entire outline is done, it's going to look like this. And make sure it's even, and then glue the other bison piece on top. Now the whistle is sandwiched, and you can get ready for the finishing touches. All those corrugated cardboard pieces look really messy, so I want to cover them up. And to do that, I um, first took a strip of just regular newspaper, I think it was from a magazine, and I roughly measured where all of the creases and the folds um, around the body of the bison is, and that's kind of like where in between the legs and under the, you know, the little neck of the bison. And um, I made those folds on the newspaper first, and then when I went and got a uh, flimsy piece of cereal box cardboard, and this one I got from a frozen pizza box, I was able to mark off where those folds would fall on the cardboard strip, and then that way that cardboard strip would still look neat and clean, because I would only have to fold it once. And I took that uh, frozen pizza box cardboard strip, and I glued that strip all around the outside, um, of the bison. And this strip was roughly one inch and that's just to cover up everything. I started at the bottom and carefully worked my way around the entire piece. And as for the horns, I just cut them out of some scrap corrugated cardboard and wrapped them in masking tape to help give it a rounded look and get rid of the corrugation holes. But then it was time to paint. It's just white craft paint and this paint fills in a lot of the holes from my messy glue job. So much so that it ends up looking completely sealed up after I paint it on about two or three layers. As for the horns, I'll paint them in brown and glue them on using the holes in the original template to help me space them properly. But you'll see all that in a few seconds when I show you the finished product. So there you have it. Ang's Bison Whistle from Avatar The Last Airbender made completely from cardboard and a bit of tape. I'm super happy with how it turned out and I hope you like it too. I've wanted one of these since I first saw the show and I'm hoping that Appa's gonna fly down from the sky the first time I use it outside. And also FYI, 
The whistle noise gets quieter when all the edges are sealed up due to the lack of airflow inside, so it will be louder if you cut a hole in the front like how it looks like in the show. However, I'm happy with it looking just the way it is and being completely sealed up. If you want it to be sealed up and still want a louder noise, definitely use a plastic or metal whistle and that'll help it to be as loud as possible when it's sealed. Anyway, if you like how it turned out, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and leave this video a like. It means so much to me. And I hate to say this, but if you're one of the channels that keeps using my templates and passing them off as your own, I'd really appreciate it if you credited me. It's kind of the decent thing to do, so please, please credit me. Anyway, again, a big thank you to everyone who watched, and talk to you guys soon. Bye bye